the Damoda, a capricious river, rises near Ramga in Bihar and joins the Hooghly below Calcutta. With its three main tributaries, the Baraka, Kunar and Bokaro, the Damodar commands a drainage area of 8,500 square miles. This great river basin is a veritable treasure house of nature, for it contains, among other materials, vast quantities of coal, iron ore, bauxite, mica, lead and silver. Unfortunately, most of this mineral wealth remains untapped because there's no adequate power to unearth it. During the dry months of the year, the Damodar is nothing more than a feeble, shallow stream. But the monsoon rains can change it overnight into a raging torrent, causing year after year death and destruction on a gigantic scale. No wonder then the Damodar is called the River of Sorrow. Apart from the untold loss in human life and property, recurring floods erode the fertile soil which results in barren land. It was in order to combat this annual destruction that the Damodar Valley Project came into being, a multi-purpose scheme of immense significance. First, the project will control floods through dams. Second, generate hydroelectric power. Third, irrigate by means of canals. Fourth, develop navigation to relieve land traffic congestion. Fifth, increase industrialization through cheap and plentiful power. Sixth, afforestation to conserve the soil. Seventh, ensure a year-round supply of adequate water. Eighth, develop fisheries to augment food supplies. Ninth, develop recreational centers near the reservoir sites. The first phase of the DVC project includes the construction of dams. One at Telaya, across the Baraka, another at Konar, across the Konar. Also a thermal power station at Bokaro. And further down, another dam at Maiton, again on the Baraka. And another at Panchet Hill, across the Damodar. At Durgapur, below the confluence of the two rivers, there will be a barrage diverting the water into the irrigation canal. This miniature model shows the method whereby the flood waters are controlled and how the excess monsoon water is released. Construction of the Tilaya Dam began in January 1950. Planned for a storage capacity of 320,000 acre feet, it will be an all concrete dam, 1147 feet long and 99 feet high above the river bed. The reservoir will cover an area of 23 square miles, approximately the area of Bombay City. The water released from the reservoir will generate 23 million kilowatt hours a year and irrigate an area of 99,000 acres. From 1950 onwards, work went ahead briskly. Men and machines cooperated on a giant scale to subdue nature and achieve results before the target date. The 21st February 1953 dawned, a red letter day for the DVC, for on that historic day, in the presence of a large audience, our Prime Minister pronounced the dam open. set in motion was the first of two hydroelectric generators. The resultant power available will prove to be a boon mainly to the mica mines at Kodarma, not far from Telaya. The systematic control of such an abundance of water will spell prosperity to the surrounding areas. Konar is the second of the four dams included in the first phase of the program. It is of the concrete gravity type with continuous earth embankments on either side. Construction at Konar began in the middle of 1950. Over 12,900 feet long and 160 feet high, the dam can store 260,000 acre feet of water. The water released from this reservoir will generate 191 million kilowatt hours of electric power and also furnish a constant supply of water for cooling purposes to the thermal station at Bokaro. 
Here is a vast vista of men and machines battling together to tame an unruly river so that a valley may prosper. Work at Bukaro began in the early part of 1950 and continued according to schedule. In February 1953, this plant, the largest in India, was completed. And on the very day of the inauguration at Pilaya, Mithanehru opened the Bukaro station. The Bukaro thermal station is mainly planned to maintain an even supply of power during the dry months when the water level in the reservoirs is low. The plant utilizes low-grade coal from nearby mines. Basic industries in the area can now expand for Bukaro can supply the much needed power. My Thorn, work here on dam number three began in December 1952. First, the Baraka River had to be diverted to keep the dam site dry. For this purpose, a tunnel was made through the left bank to divert the flow during the dry months. The dam is a composite structure, partly concrete and partly earthen, as one can see from this model. Giant earth movers build up the main dam, over 2,000 feet long and 160 feet in height. The Maiton Dam, designed primarily for flood control, will irrigate 270,000 acres. Besides, its water power will generate 164 million kilowatt hours of electricity. Python awakens to the monster hum of machines bringing prosperity within the reach of our people. At Panchet Hill is the fourth DVC dam. It is very similar to the one at Maithon. The main earth dam is 1800 feet long and 130 feet high. Its hydroelectric output will be 154 million kilowatt hours a year. The Panchet Hill Reservoir will have a capacity of 1,214,000 acre feet. It is primarily meant for flood control and will also irrigate 684,000 acres. Construction here has only recently started. It will be in full swing when additional equipment is released from my pond. The water discharge from the four dams will be diverted by the Durgapur barrage into a wide network of canals totaling 1,800 miles. The main canal, about 83 miles long, will be navigable. Irrigation is ensured for 1,026,000 acres. Work here, though only recently begun, is making good progress. Last but not least is the rehabilitation of those inhabitants whose property has been submerged by the filling up of the reservoirs. Reclaimed land in the upper reaches are being given to those displaced by the Tilaya Reservoir. It is hard to break away from ancient homesteads, but the new colonies scientifically planned afford more than just compensation with the advantages they offer. Research stations and experimental farms newly started will help the villager achieve standards of production he never knew before. In summing up then, here's the DVC project as it stands today. Tilaya and Bokaro completed. Completion of Konar expected before the year's end. At Maithon, the dam has already risen over 50 feet. Brisk activity in evidence at Panchet Hill in Durgapur. The vast multi-purpose project, the first of its kind in India, is forging ahead well in advance of the target date, 1955. It is a project that is transforming the river of sorrow into the river of hope. Old and young alike feel the quickening pulse of a better life to be. A miracle is being performed here, a modern miracle in the heart of an ancient land.